Welcome to Engineering Mechanics Dynamics in this lesson on the relative motion of two particles. And so here we have our z, y, x coordinate system. And I'm going to draw a vector r sub v. So here we have a second coordinate system with z prime, y prime, and x prime. And so if we draw a vector from one coordinate system to the next, we have there, and we'll call that r sub a. And now the perspective of the prime coordinate system of this point b, that is r sub b with respect to a. So essentially, it'd be like there's a particle going from there to there from a person who's just standing here. He is the fixed observer versus the person who's moving from here to here. And so he is the translating observer. And so it appears as though from his perspective, this is the direction of B, because it's B with respect to A. Another way of saying it is that R sub B with respect to A is the relative position of B from the viewpoint of A. And so X or X of B with respect to A equals X of B minus X of A. As you can see, X of R sub B or X of B minus R sub A, X of B. Um, equals r sub b with respect to a, or you can rearrange it. And so x of b with respect to a is the relative position of b with respect to a. And then to get to velocity and acceleration, you can simply take the derivatives with respect to time, and you'll get those. So here's velocity. <laughs> and here's acceleration. So now I'm going to give you a general procedure to analyze these type of equations. And so when you're giving two particles moving relative to each other, first you want to specify particle A for the translating axis, usually known velocity or acceleration of A. So if you know the velocity of acceleration of A, you want to specify that particle as that. And secondly, there can be at, two, at most two unknowns, and the unknowns can be the magnitude or the direction of the vectors. And lastly, you can solve these geographically by using trigonometry or by using rectangular components. All right, so now here's an uh, example problem. Um, car A is traveling with a constant speed of 80 kilometers per hour due north, while car B is traveling with a constant speed of 100 kilometers per hour due east. Determine the velocity of car B relative to car A. So car B is going that way, car A is going this way. Find the velocity of car B relative to car A. So let's draw a graph. We'll have our origin, and so we'll have our A, which is 80 kilometers per hour. And we'll have our car B, which is 100. And then the velocity of B with respect to A is right there. And so that's how you can do it graphically. Another way you could do it is V sub B equals V sub A plus V sub B with respect to A. And if you rearrange them, it ends up being V sub B with respect to A equals V sub B, which is 100 in the x direction minus v sub a, which is 80 in the y direction. So now we'll solve this using Pythagorean's theorem. And so v sub a squared plus v sub b squared. Take the square root, and you'll get v sub b with respect to a. And your total answer equals 128 kilometers per hour. And if you wanted to find the angle, that would be really easy. You could just do some trigonometry. 
Hope this lesson helped you. If you ever have any questions, never be afraid to ask. And good luck in continuing to learn about engineering mechanics. Have a great day.